in my last video I introduced uh, log. We saw this definition of log that if b to the power x is y, this double implies log of y base or log of base y of y is equal to x. So let me write that again. So this is the log rule or this is the definition of log. If b which is a number to a power to any power x will give you an answer that is y. This is the exponent form. So let me write in short. This is called this is called exponent form. I'll write in short exponent form. This implies a double implies log base b of y is equal to x and this is called the log form. So this both are interchangeable. So this is called the log form. So let me give you one more example. So we are base, we are talking in, in in respect to 10. Log can be written in other bases. So suppose 10 to the power, say 4 is uh, 10,000. Okay, you should know that. This implies if you want to write this, the same thing can be written as a log form. Log base 10 of 10,000 is equal to 4. So whenever I see a log form, I read the exponent form. This is how I read. Log base 10 of 10,000 is equal to 4. This is how I read. So 10 to the power 4 is equal to, uh, suppose the, it's not necessary, you should always write in uh, base 10, but when you're in uh, in a on a calculator, the log has the base by default or by definition. We always has the base of 10 on a calculator. But suppose this is, an, uh, this is also an exponent form. Two, 2 to the power 3 is 8. This is also an exponent form. This I'll show you this later on. This means log base 2 of 8 is equal to 3. This and this are equivalent. Suppose let me go, let us go from year to year. Log say base twenty seven, base three uh, is equal to three. I can directly say this is three. Log base twenty. I'll explain this later on. Log base log base three of twenty seven would be three because three to the power three is twenty seven. Why? because 3 to the power 3 is 27. So this is just an introduction from exponent form to log form. So let us take now the rules of log. So let me write the first rule of log and we are going to prove the rules. Rules of log. Now these are rules which you have to remember or it will be given in your formula sheet but it's good to understand how the rules work. So the first rule is log base b of x times y, this dot stands for times, is equal to log base b of x plus log base b of y. This is the log of addition. Log of x times y is equal to log of x, sorry, log of base log of base bx plus log base b of y. So let us prove this, okay. So this is how we are going to prove, okay. So let's prove this. So the proof, okay. So uh, let log, let log base b of x times y x times y is equal to m, okay? If you take log of any number, x times y is a number, log base b of x times y, say let us say that is equal to m. Now this is a log form. This I can write in the exponent form like this. This implies b to the power m 
is equal to x times y or xy. So let me write this as a result one. Okay, so this is also a number. So that uh, let uh, log or log base b of x is equal to suppose p is equal to p. This again, if you want to write this in an exponent form, I can write b to the power b to the power p is equal to x. So this is a result two. I'm going to say log base b of y is equal to q. So if you want to write this as an exponent form, so the same thing b to the power q b to the power q is equal to y. So that's your result 3. Okay, so I'm going to multiply. So using 2 and 3, so can I say, let me change color, using, using result 2 and result 3. So can I say x times y, x times y, would be b to the power q times b to the power q. So when you're multiplying power indices, when you're multiplying uh, uh, powers, you add up the indices. So this applying the rules of indices. So this you can say x times y is equal to b to the power. Oh, this is b to the power, I made a mistake here, b should, it should be b to the power p. Okay, so b to the power p plus q. Say this is a result 4. I wanted to look at result 1 and result 4. What is in result 1 and result 4? Result 1 says x times y is b to the power m. And result 4 says x times y is b to the power p plus q. So let me write result 1 again. So can I say x times y is equal to is equal to b to the power m. This is nothing but 1. I've rewritten 1. Therefore, from 1 and 2, sorry, from 1 and 4, 1 and 4, what can I say? You have got x times y is b to the power p plus q, and x times y is b to the power m. So from 1 and 2, or 1 and 4, I can say b to the power m is equal to b to the power p plus q. Okay, so now the left-hand side and the right-hand side bases are same. Therefore, I can say m is equal to, m is equal to, P plus Q. Now what is M? Let us go back. M is log base B of X times Y. P is log of base B X. And Q is log base B of Y. Okay. Therefore, I can say that's what I have let in place of M. I can write, therefore, log base B of x times y, x times y, my pen is not working, x times y is equal to log base b of x plus log base b of y. So let me show you the application of this. What does this mean? This means log, we now on a calculator, we don't write base 10, it is understood. Log of 5 times 4 is same as log of 5 plus log of 4. Okay, this means log of 20 is equal to log of 5 plus log of 4. Okay, so let me show this on a calculator. So if you press log of 20, or 5 times 4, will give you a number. And if you press log of 5, 
plus log of 4 will give you the same number. Okay, so this is the application of the first rule of addition. When you're multiplying log of product of two numbers is equal to, uh, the basis has to be the same. So log of x times y of base b is log base b of x plus log base b of y. 